Hello everyone, I'm Eric Peltier. I'm the CRE or the Coordinator for Residence Education here at the Northwest Quad, which is the, if you're in Buildings Gatewood, Morgan, Morgan, wow, Clark or Harding, that makes up the Northwest Quad. Um, I'm the live-in professional who lives here on campus in the buildings. Um, I oversee all the residents. I see, oversee all the RAs um, and whatnot. And if for just a, I guess, geographical idea of where the quad is. Yeah, give us a sense of where we are on the campus. Yeah, so on the other side, so this building right next to me I'm, on my left is um, uh, Gatewood, which on the other side of Gatewood is the Pat Walker Health Center. Behind me is Morgan. Um, and on the other side of Morgan is the bookstore and the Garland parking garage. So if you have a uh, parking garage pass, that's where most likely you'll be parking. Uh, we have the um, dining hall right here, the Fulbright dining hall. And then you can't necessarily see it super well-ish, but in that corner right there is Clark. And then on the other side of Gatewood is um, Harding. Um, and, but that is our quad. Um, and we ha you can kind of see, we have also a hammock park and stuff like that. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of a quick idea of where we are on. And we're under kind of a neat, nice little feature here. This is a, uh, a pergola, I think it's called. Oh boy, architecture features are not my thing. So we're gonna go with yes. It's All right, we'll go with yes, that it sounds feels, good. It feels right, okay. it feels like a good term. Okay, good, good, good deal. <laughs> All right, well, um, about how many people live in the, uh, in the, the quad neighborhood? So the quad is made up of about 600 residents across the four buildings. Um, about, that breaks down to about what, like 175-ish per building, per the four buildings, I think, if my mouth mm -hmm. is about right. Okay. So, um, yeah, so about 175 per the four, and then about six, 604 ish in that area make up the whole build, make up the whole quad. So we have about 16 people tuning in, 18 people tuning in right now. We uh, would love to know where you're uh, tuning in from. And if you're coming this fall and living here in the Northwest Quad neighborhood, let us know. And uh, Eric and I would love to, to get to know you. Excellent. Um, so we're gonna go inside Morgan, uh, the entrance of Morgan. Um, this is a building most of you will all go into because it is where we have our mail. We'll show you all that, where all four of their buildings mail, your packages and stuff like that. And it's also where the entrance to the dining hall is. So, and we have some other features we'll show you on our quick, on our tour today. Sounds great. Let's head on in. Yeah. Uh, and so it, you've been with University Housing for a while, but how long have you been uh, the CRE for this particular hall? Uh, I started the, earlier this month. Okay. Um, so yeah, I've been, I've been with housing about six years now. Um, I started over in Holcomb Futural um, and then I was in Founders for a little while and now I'm here in the quad. Oh, so a lot of experience across campus. Yeah. Hey, would you mind waving hello to Becky in Dallas? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these doors are actually unlocked. If you live in Morgan, you have access, your, your, um, your bit of the building is still protected. Um, these buildings, but these are unlocked for you to be able to get in and get your packages and stuff like that. Right. And hello to Jonathan Little Rock and Tracy in Tawny Town, just a little ways away, living in Clark and Morgan. Sweet. All right. So yeah, we are in the main lobby area of Morgan. Um, we have some. We have some furniture. We have a. We'll we'll introduce Stephen here in a second. Uh, but we have some furniture, some pool tables, ping pong tables, TVs, um, and then we have our awesome front desk over here. Um, with Miss Christy um, and all that where you'll be able to get your mail. Uh, well, th we have mailboxes and you can get packages and whatnot. So. Sure. Sounds good, sounds good. Yeah. Now, who's this we have over here? Uh, this is Steven. How's it going guys? <laughs> uh, my name is Steven Stone. I'm the Graduate Assistant for Student Leadership. So I advise the Lead Hogs, the National Residence Hall Honorary, and Residence Center Hall Congress. So I live here in the Quad, but I work in the Housing Office. If you ever see me, uh, I'm just a grad assistant, so. Yeah. Sounds good. Your nose, your nose keeps poking out. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. Uh, you mentioned uh, uh, lead hogs and stuff like that. Can you tell us just a moment about what lead hogs is? Sure. So lead hogs is a leadership development program uh, for all of our students that live on campus. We host all sorts of different initiatives during the school year, such as in halls where you meet with your hall. Uh, anything to as big as a lead now where all of the lead hogs across campus come together and we have a leadership development training that's usually led by a guest speaker so it's a great program and it's run all throughout the year we have some really exciting things rolling out such as a level up certification process where you can build skills and put them on your resume and things like that so we're really excited about it very cool thanks hey will you come along with us yeah of course <laughs> all right excellent 
Um, so like I said, over here is our desk area. Um, the desk opens up at about, at, not about, I don't know why I said it about, but it opens up at eight and it usually runs. Can through, we wave hello to you? Oh, thank you. Um, it runs through about 10 ish. Um, most days you're able to get packages up until I believe eight o'clock. Um, we'll have an RA here, um, to help out. Um, I know that we have combos. So if you don't know what your mailbox is, one thing you can do is check UA Connect. It should have your mailbox. It won't, it's not on UA Connect anymore. It's in their housing portal. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in housing portal. In housing portal. Mm -hmm. It used to be on UA Connect. My details. We'll go, where you go? My details? My details on the housing portal. Is that my find it? yep. It's been a while. I have, I forget where they like, keep moving things around on me sometimes. Um, so yeah, go to my details. You'll find your mailbox. You'll find your combo. And you'll find the mailing address, which are probably some of the most common questions we get um, about where to, how to get your mail. Because it is four buildings. It's not necessarily, they have different physical addresses than our mailing address. Sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Well, what else do we have here on the first floor? Oh, we have, we have all Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. You're welcome. Um, well, we're going to walk right by all, we'll walk by all of the fancy mailboxes here. Hand sanitation right yep. there. Yeah. Hand sanitizer, all the good safety stuff for this year. We have it actually. We've had it there every year, but it's more. It's actually really important this year. Um, around the corner here um, is actually where my office is. There's some more mailboxes on the other side of this little uh, hallway. Um, so yeah, that's a really cool area. This is an entrance into Morgan Hall. So if you live here, this is a. This is actually the only. The only. To the residential area where you yeah. do have to fob in. Um, yeah. That sounds good. Um, and then we'll head on down here. We'll head down the hall a little bit. We have a computer lab, a music room, a little conference space, some classroom space, and then the dining hall that's also here. Yeah, let's go take a look. Yeah. We have some we have every, every building is equipped with recycling. Um, we just have a lot more here in, in Morgan. Um, but every building has at the front of their building um, these little re recycling stations. And, most, and all the buildings also have a water fountain and we highly recommend you bring a water bottle for yourself. Um, do you have a water bottle that you like to use? I do. I have an algae in my office right now that's actually empty. Okay, uh, okay. As we were getting ready for this, it ran out. So here we are. Um, so right here is our tech center. There are a computer lab. It is run through um, UITS, helps us out with this. Um, you can use your printing quota here, actually. It has a printer in there, and it's all set up for that. Um, so. If you have a printer, you don't need to bring a printer, which is always really nice um, because you have a printing quota. And um, within your student fees, you have a certain amount of money. I believe it's $35 a semester for, for printing out anything you want. And so it goes against that. And I believe you can print remotely and it, you can just pick it up, I think. I don't, I don't know about that. I just know that we have one here. Um, we, have some rule, like, we have some guidelines of what we're doing for safety in there. Um, to our right is our music room. Um, it's got a little bit, it's got some stuff for arrival in there for right now, but we have a piano and electric uh, drum set and, but people come in here, practice other, like other, uh, instruments. That's where I was looking for other instruments that may be important to, that you may want to try out and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. It's a nice little room. Um, and you said what's in there right now is, uh, um, microwaves and refrigerators, right? No, we actually have moved the moving carts. Actually, they're the big gray moving boxes. Oh, okay. Okay. I believe you. Well, we can head in there and look anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we have our, just our big. Um, we will have these available for uh, move-in, but you have to uh, IDs and stuff like that. Right. So that's something that'll be available for move-in, but you need to have your ID in order to uh, rent it from us. Um, like I said, this is we have conference space. So this is where our conference room is, and some of the some of the micro fridges that are for renting actually through student leadership. Um, so our micro fridges and stuff like that. They're a really great thing because they arrive when you are, they're here when you, when you show up. And as long as you clean them out at the end of the school year, you don't have to try to pack them up or have one. Um, and they're, do you know how much they cost even? What the uh, rental fee is? I don't, but all that info can be found on our website at leadhogs.uart.edu. So. That's leadhogs.uart.edu. Okay, yeah. thank you. And they come with a microwave and a fridge all in one unit. It's, pretty, it's a really nice deal if you ask me. Uh, but like I said, we have some conference spaces. Um, and then to my right is the dining room in the dining area of uh, Fulbright Dining. Um, 
it's it's a really good place to eat. It's probably one of my favorite places to eat on campus. Um, I mean, there's really no bad place to eat on campus, but uh, this I've I've always enjoyed eating in Fulbright. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. There's salad bars. Um, there's salad and usually a grill option. Um, there's a pasta. There, there's a pasta bar. Um, there's a healthy food station, um, and then there's usually some other, uh, typically some sort of um, international cuisine, and then usually some sort of what they would call, I think they call it like a home style, like a, like a, I'm trying to think of the right word, but yeah, like a home style. Lots of different selections there. Yeah. Now there will be some changes due to COVID-19 this year, yeah. um, but the food will still be real good. Yep. It's just they're going to basically encourage you to use um, an online uh, place to choose your food and then come pick it up. Um, yeah, so, and, and all of North Campus comes to this particular location. Yeah, yeah, no, this is a pretty large location. It's pretty, it's, it's usually pretty busy in here throughout the whole day. I don't, I've usually, whenever I've ever been on this side of campus, when I was maybe on the other side, this, there was always people in here throughout the whole day up until they closed, so. Is there anything else, Eric, here on the first floor that we want to show, showcase in Morgan? I know it's sort of the main hall, if you will. Yeah, I think we've got all the major things in Morgan Hall. Okay. Um, that are for showcase. I don't know, Stephen, do you think of anything I could have? Uh, no, there's some meeting spaces back there. Uh, yeah. where they Classroom have spaces meetings. and such. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to, this year, for the first time, we're going to go into Gatewood. Yeah. And take a look in Gatewood to look at the residential area as well. Yeah. Um, so now, where are you from? I'm originally from Vermont. That's okay. where I was born and raised. Um, I, went to a, I went to a small private liberal arts college in New Hampshire. Um, and I actually, this is my second professional job. Uh, I worked at a university um, on the coast of Maine for about four years. So. That sounds picturesque. Yeah, no, it was great. It was awesome. Um, you know, I, we, lived, we, we, we lived, worked eight miles from the coastline of Maine. Um, in what they call Down East Maine. Um, for reference, it was about, not that it's, maybe anyone will be able to know this, but I lived about an hour-ish from Acadia National Park, uh, but we also lived about an hour-ish away from the Canadian border. Okay, okay, very nice. Um, Becky is asking, will parents be able to eat in the dining hall on move-in day? And I mean, I think typically, the public does have access to it. Let me get back with you. I hate to answer that question and be incorrect. So let me try to get back with you, Becky, on the answer to that. Because this year is just a little different than normal. So, yeah, that's a, that feels like a Chartwell's thing. I don't know what their plans are for. Yeah, well, we'll ask and find out. So back under the pergola again. Yeah. And it's kind of a warm day here in Arkansas in the Ozark Mountains. Yep. I was looking at, I think the Weather Channel said it was like 91-ish or something like that so it's pretty warm for it's a it's a it's a nice day it's it, a nice it, breeze too though it is it is and our excitement in the last two days has been that we've had a little a black bear wandering <laughs> yes. around our campus yeah. that is not typical but it's been an interesting thing um so this is the first floor of, of gatewood um hall um like i mentioned over in morgan we have a um, recycling area uh, for plastics, aluminums, papers, and then we have our cardboards here. Um, the thing with cardboards is please remember to break down your cardboard and that any, we, can't, we can't recycle cardboard that has any food waste in it. So pizza boxes and like to-go boxes and stuff like that are just not able to be recycled. So if it's a pizza box with a lot of grease in it, just throw it away? Yeah, yeah please break it down before you throw it away, but yeah, it, it, it needs to be just thrown away, unfortunately. Um, so there are, so there are four, uh, laundry rooms. There are what, there is one here in Gatewood, one in Harding, and then, uh, Clark and Morgan, uh, share two. Um, so, but they're all pretty large rooms. They have, they have plenty of machines for everybody to, to use them. But I will, we will talk about it a little bit maybe when we go in there, but making sure you have the laundry alert app. Um, and getting that and using that because one you can find out a lot of information about when's the best time to use the washers but how much time is left on a washer or dryer and you can even set alerts for yourself to remember to get them to get your stuff too so. and your laundry is covered under your housing fees yes. so no need to 
bring lots of quarters from home. Yeah, no need for the quarters, the bags of quarters like I had. Actually, we didn't have that in my school. We had a, we had a card you could put dollars on, like dollar bills on. Um, but yeah, so this is the laundry room. Uh, we, have, we have washers here, dryers here, little folding table behind me. Um, and then there is the app that I was talking about. Um, the really nice thing about the, the app does a couple of things outside of just tracking. It also lets you send an email, it lets you send a work order straight to the company who services the machines for us. So you don't have to, if you see something wrong with it, please, if something is wrong with the, with the machines, please let, let them know because they get out here pretty, they want to get out here quickly and make sure all of our machines are up and running. Great. It's as easy as just scanning a little QR code that's on every one of them. All the machines have a QR code. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, and then around the corner is a kitchen. Now, does this building have an ice machine or do you have to go to uh, they should have one Morgan? In. Okay. We should have one when we turn. They should be in here, I believe. Yep, so I thought. They're right here. So we have vending machines, um, ice machine, stuff like that. And, uh, Stoves, kitchen, stuff like that. Yeah. And do people use these kitchens? Yeah, they're usually well used um, just because, you know, it, sometimes people like to be able to make things that are out, like outside of the, you know, the dining hall. You may have wanted like breakfast for dinner and they weren't doing breakfast for dinner. Breakfast for dinner, I like it. I love bre breakfast for dinner. It's probably one of my favorite meals. I'm not going to pretend that I don't enjoy eating, you know, pancakes at whatever time. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like a little chaos in the universe. I like yeah. that. Um, yeah. So that this is our kitchen. There are kitchens in the other buildings also um, outside of the dining hall. Okay. So shall we head up to a floor and yeah. look at some of the things? What floor are we going up to? Uh, we'll be going up to the second floor. Um, each of the building has four. Each building has four floors, so it's kind of easy. The quad has four floor. Or the quad is four buildings and four floors in all of our buildings. So, <laughs> great. Yeah. And some of the rooms have four people. Yes. Yes. All of the buildings. Yeah. We have sweet buildings. Oh, we have people. Hello. <laughs> Riding in elevators. So when you came to Northwest Arkansas, uh, what was something that stood out to you? Um, I really, I, oh man, I don't really remember. It was such a, it was not a long time ago. It was just a, it was a very busy day. Very, very busy day, sure. <laughs> My first experience at, at the end, like, you know, coming in for interviews and stuff like that was kind of, um, but I do remember it was very, very hot compared to where I lived at the time. Like it was probably the same temperature as now, which I'm much more accustomed to. Um, right now we are in a lounge area um, of Morgan. Each of the buildings, again, kind of have similar setups like this where they have some seating and some, uh, a TV and stuff like that. And you can come out and uh, if you don't want to hang out, with, if you want to come out, maybe do studying outside of, your room, outside of your room or if you've got friends in other suites and you just don't want to be in a suite together but you want to be out here and still hang out, you totally can. Um, table and all of that stuff. Great, and this is on every floor? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, we'll head down to the room. Unless mm -hmm. there's questions. Uh, no, no questions yet. But now is a great time to start asking these questions as we, as we look at the different amenities on the uh, second floor of Gatewood. Sorry. We got the nice blue carpet. Um, so in each of the buildings, and we can talk about it when you go in the suite because it'll be the most obvious when you get in those suites. Is that each um, suite? In room has more or less what's called an accent wall, which is a different color. Here in Gatewood, they will all be blue. Um, it changes depending on the building that you're in. Um, Harding is red, Clark is orange, and Morgan is green. And you can find all of those accent colors and including the numeric value of them on the housing website. Um, so we came into the common space of the suite. So this is a space that is shared with by all four of the residents. Um, of the, of the um, suite. There is this countertop right here um, with some bar stool seating and then some under the counter shelving and then a cabinet that hangs above. Um, this is pretty stand, this is what will be found in all suites that are set up like this in four person suite. Hey Steven. <laughs> uh, there's a love seat couch 
um, a, count, a coffee table, um, an entertainment stand or entertainment table, and then a, another seat right there. Um, so this is pretty much, this will be what you'd see in any of your residence halls. Um, like I said, minus the, the accent wall is a little bit different. Um, and we'll, so the build, so it sets up like this is that when you come in to your right or left will be two rooms and a bathroom and we'll, we'll show you guys that. But so two residents live here and two residents live over here. Um, and they share the sort of the space with another, like the, it splits the suite basically in half. Um, so left, go, left or right, which way yeah. are we going? We'll go this way. Okay. We'll go right. Yes. <laughs> um, so in the quad, we have each of the four residents are, um, your room is assigned also one of these closets um, that is locked. It is lockable and it is only accessible by you, um, but it is a fairly large closet. And this is outside of the space that you have in your yeah. individual room. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. This is in the hallway. Um, oh, it, it, we'll go into your room in a second and show you that, but there, this is outside of it. So you can, if, you, if you're one of those people who has summer clothes and winter clothes and spring clothes, and you can change those out and maybe keep what you need in your room and keep this as sort of a secondary storage space. Thanks. Um, we'll go over here. Is that... Um, each uh, of the sides has a vanity that comes with two sinks, um, two towel bars, two outlets, and two under the sink sort of uh, storage areas. So you have your own sink um, for this, for yourself. Your own individual sink? Yeah. And then behind me is a bathroom. Um, it is I'm more or less a standard bathroom. We had a couple of questions. Let's catch up with those yeah. real quick. Um, Paula asks, are all the floors hardwood or tile? And you know if they're different in the different halls or if they're pretty consistent. They should all be tile and like vinyl planking. Yeah, yeah. The, the, that, yeah, that, that what looks maybe like hardwood is actually vinyl plank. Vinyl planking? Is that what it's called? Like, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on our website. It's detailed what it is, but it looks like hardwood. Yeah. Um, and then Heather asked, what is the depth of the closet? And we'll be sure we get that dimension here in a second. Do we have the tape measure? Yeah, okay, good. I'm gonna assume it's a pretty standard. Uh, let's see here. So to the frame, it's about, yeah, it's about just under two feet. Just under two feet is the depth of the closet in the kind of bathroom area. Yep. And then, um, Becky asked, are there two closets in the bathroom? And um, I think we're talking about these closets. And yes, yeah. there's one closet per person who would share this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Marilyn asks, so two people share that closet in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, there's, there are two closets. Let's just make sure we show that. Yeah, there, it's, you don't share, a, like this closet would be for the person in the E space. Mm -hmm. This one would be for the person, this one would be for the person in the F space. So they're, they're, not, they're not shared. They are your own individual ones. You, ha you are the only one who has a key to it. You're the only one, when it locks, you lock it up. And if I'm right, then it's keyed up here too. So you see that designation? Does it say 203C on one of these things? Uh, no, it, they, okay. they each, they're, door, they're, they're labeled by door number, but it's just how they connect to each other. Okay, yeah. Is nope. it, usually it's this one to this one and that one to this one. Our pleasure, Becky. Thanks for asking that question. That was a good one to know yeah. whether there's actually two closets, one per student, yep. external to the ha to the room itself. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What's next? Bathroom. Uh, bathroom. Yeah. So it it's a it's your standard bathroom. It's standard a, bathroom. Yep. Yeah, you have your toilet, mm -hmm. sink or not sink. That's not a sink. That's a shower, and then uh, two towel bars because there's two residents who share this bathroom. So yes, this will be shared by two residents. Uh, who live in this side of the room. Mm -hmm. And let me get in the bathroom for a second, let people take a look. And one thing I should definitely point out is that if you're in a suite like this, housing does not clean these bathrooms for you daily. Yes. Um, that is going to be up to the residents. Yes, it's on the residents to clean. They don't come into your space to clean them. Um, so please bring work out with yourselves, with your, with your roommates and stuff. 
on how you want to go through your cleaning schedule. And you, there, there is a time for that conversation that we'll have with your RA and your roommates and stuff like that on a cleaning schedule and stuff like that as we make our roommate agreements and stuff like that. Uh, Lori, Lori mentions that on the website with Harding's accent wall, we say it's gray, but we might have said it was red. I, the website has the accurate information. Um, and I think it has been, yeah. So it's going to say, whatever it says there, I'll, I'll confirm to make uh, sure. Sorry, We're I, if I, I, I know the carpeting is red. Yeah, yes, yeah, so the carpet may be a different color, but the accent walls should be accurate on the website. Um, I'm pretty, I'm 95% sure because we updated it just not too long ago. Um, a couple more questions that are coming in. Emma asks, what is the width between the edge of the towel rack and the door frame? So the edge of the towel rack and the door frame. So like that. Mm -hmm. About six inches, like seven. Seven, about seven inches right there. And then Jody asks, can you measure the toilet area, please? So let's just get a general sort of, if we were to draw up a rectangle, I guess, basically. Thirty-one inches, okay, um, and that's your what width? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And then the length from maybe the edge of the tip of the toilet to the to the end. Like just under twenty-seven. You say twenty-seven, okay. Yeah. Um, and then Becky asks, are the plastic shower curtains replaced every year? Um, I don't know if they're replaced every year. I don't know the answer to that question I know either. Clean. They are cleaned for sure. Are they replaced every year? I'm not sure if that is again something. We've got a couple questions we can come back on and get answers for <laughs> yeah. for you on those things. Yeah. Uh, and so I'll come back and I'll reply as housing to get the answer to that if that for you. Okay, a couple more. Um, Jody asks, do you think that uh, an over the toilet storage will fit? Um, something to go over that toilet. Uh, I mean I would say the most part, like it's it's a pretty standard, it's a pretty, it's a standard toilet. So I would assume like what you have at home, if you have like, as long as it's not too, uh -oh. <laughs> um, as long as it's not too, like, I don't know this word, depth deep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it should be it should be okay if it's like if it's like a standard one you would have at home. It should be. Let me do this. Why don't you step out of there for a second? I'm gonna give a good good shot of that commode. Let people. Make that choice for themselves. <laughs> yeah. I am not. Okay, hopefully that helps to figure out if you think you can fit something over there. Um, and let's see. Ava asked, where in the, um, in the hall would room J be? On the inside or an inside? Uh, uh, on, on the end or an inside? Side. Okay. There, there's uh, H and H and J are the other okay. side. So as you walk in to the right. Yes. Okay. And then Emma asks, um, she wants a dimension of the height from the bottom of the lower towel rack and the floor. Forty. Forty inches. Forty inches there. And Jody, our pleasure. Thank you. We're pleased to get you in the answer you want. Uh, Amy asks, what is the width and the depth under the sink? Oh, boy. Uh, so it's uh, like 22 inches. 22 inches deep. Is that right? Is that what yeah. you got? Okay. Just under 29 inches. 29 inches across. Be aware that there is that sink feature there underneath. Uh, the P-trap. Yep, yep, the P-trap is right there. So, but yeah, those are the dimensions for you. Okay, let's head into a room. We caught up on our questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So this is the bedroom. Um, so this is 
So each individual resident has their own bedroom. Um, can you they, put can you put that uh, chair yeah. on the other way? Um, so the furniture is a little bit different in Gatewood. Um, the desk there there is a desk that's a little bit longer over in the other buildings. Um, so this furniture is a little bit different, but for the most part, it's gonna have you're gonna have the same. Like everyone will have the same furniture. Your desk just looks a little different, if that if that makes sense. Um, so every room has its own Wi-Fi router, uh, has its own dresser, three dresser drawer or three drawer dressers. Um, it has its own desk, little end table, um, and then obviously behind me is the bed, um, the bed frame. This is another closet armoire that we were talking about that's inside the room. Which has a mirror inside. Yep, and then a bulletin board. Can you open up that second yep. um, side of it? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yep. Well, we have a question um, from uh, Debbie who's asking us uh, to measure the uh, couch and chairs in the room. Um, I think we're talking about maybe the couch and chairs in the main room, okay. maybe the common room. And um, yeah, we can get those. And then Sarah is watching from Whitehall, yay. Has a son living in Morgan Hall. Okay. And um, Becky asks, are bathroom and bedroom doors deeper than normal for door hooks? No. no. Um, you're talking about the width of the of that. So can you can you give them that? Uh, what's that coming to? That's probably a couple inches. Two? I think that's two inches. Yeah. So I think okay. So two easy. inches is maybe a little thicker than a residential, like your like your standard interior door in a home, but not by much. It's about two inches. So. Okay. So we're doing. We're gonna go out and do the common area real quick. And we're do, I have to go over again. We are doing couch and, chair. couch and chairs in the room. Was it? The was it? I'm sorry, the cushions. The cushions on the couch and chairs. Okay. Uh, so a cushion is about, about 34 inches wide and about 21 inches deep. 24. I'm sorry. How would you say? 24, 21? 34. 3421, is that right? And then can you give me the depth of it as well? I did, that's no, right. Oh, um, I mean the other, the, the... Oh, this. Yes, that one, please. Uh, like five and a half-ish. About five and a half inches. Okay. So 34, 21, five and a half. Okay, five seven. and a half inches. Sorry for that little technical difficulty there. The, <laughs> uh, the... And then on this guy, on this thing right here, we're about... About 24 inches wide, uh, about 21 inches deep, and then uh, again about five and a half inches thick. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Um, Emma asked, "What are the dimensions of the desks?" Okay, so we'll head back into the common area, uh, the individual room. And that, and that would be for this, for the dresser, and for the end table, too. So they kind of are a box group. So 24 inches, um, and then is the, uh, is the width of it, the length of it? Sorry, which, which one was 24 inches? Uh, that one. Down. Okay, okay, gotcha. And then across? Across to the desk is about 32 inches. 32 inches, okay. Great, okay. Um, Ginger asks, and I've got you in the sun back there, so oh. step right there. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, Ginger asks, my son wants to loft his bed and put a futon underneath the bed. Can I get the measurements to know what size futon to, uh, to buy? So it would basically need to be shy of what the mattress size is right now, or even the bed frame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say frame to frame. So, 
Just under, I would say keep it under about 83 inches. Under 83 inches should work as yeah. far as width goes. And height, these things go pretty high. Um, maximum height, I can't remember offhand, but it's considerable. Certainly nothing that you would have a problem with uh, getting a futon underneath. Yeah. Um, I believe if you have the move in, the housing website for move in, you can also put a work request in. For yeah, in fact, that was the next question. That's a great segue. <laughs> uh, just got that question about do I need to apply for loft raising, correct? Um, you here, I don't think you absolutely have to, but we do recommend it. I would for the other, for some of the, like this, you do to get the materials because okay. like there is, like if you've been in some Oh, of I the see, I see halls, what you're saying, yeah. There is, the materials are already in the halls. Mm -hmm. We don't have the materials in the halls to do that. And then for some of the bigger, like the desks that I was talking about, basically your desk in like Morgan sits on a bed frame that they just use to lift up the, like they can lift up the bed with that. So that is kind of heavy and cumbersome and you probably don't want to do that on your own. So if you do go to the, if go to the housing, is it movein.uark.edu? Forward slash fix it, fix it. <laughs> F-I-X-I-T will get you there where you can make a work request. And yeah, we recommend that you do in fact make a work request in this hall especially. Yeah. Um, one, thing I, one thing I would say is make sure you put the right letter. Um, Cause a lot of you, like a lot of it says like, uh, make sure you put either the like J H um, E and F because like that will make sure it gets to the right one. Because some people just put in Clark, Clark, or we're in Morgan, we're in uh, Gatewood two hundred three. People just sometimes put two hundred three, and there's four rooms in here. It's kind right. Of so that that letter designation is really helpful for us to know so that we can do it either before you arrive or immediately after you yeah. arrive. And um, Sarah asked if you want to put a rug in the common area, about what size would you recommend? So let's go out there and take a look. Yeah, we're gonna. We can kind of get a measurement of that living common space there. Obviously it's movable furniture, so you can put anything you want. Yeah. Uh, so whatever, about 128. Okay. So from wall to counter is about 128. And so that's like a 10 foot in that dimension, I guess. Yeah. And then, if you want, you can go with the wall because it is movable. Uh, about one, one thirty-nine, one forty, one thirty-nine. One thirty-nine, one forty in that dimension. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, Paul asks, how many electrical outlets are in the bedrooms? And maybe, um, maybe one of you guys could count. Okay. Go, go count for us. How many that would be? I believe it's actually three. Okay. I believe it's three because I. I had I did a quick count earlier this week for something else. Okay. And I believe it's three. Well, let's let's confirm it's three. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, Becky asked, "Would you video the closet in the room again?" And and also asked, "How many drawers are in the room?" So let's go. Look um, and see. So it is a three drawer closet or a three drawer um, dresser. Okay. Um, in this in this style of closet, there is no drawers. Um, there are a couple that have like, there is a closet that has two uh, underneath it. But that's a, in a uh, I don't remember what building specifically, but. Okay, okay. Um, how many drawers are in the room? What? Five sets, 10 total. Five, five sets, 10 total? So in each room, there's how many? Uh, 10 outlets. 10 in, 10 in the room, okay. Okay, um, how many drawers are there? There's one, two, three, four, that's. Oh. Yeah, so it's four, four right there. Okay, and then Marilyn asks, you can raise the beds without actually lofting, right? Just with a rubber mallet? Yeah, 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 this, this bed totally can just, go, like it can go up. Um, you'll see on here that there is these little like knobs. Um, this, just, this just comes up and then I hook it in. I would suggest um, not to go, the top of this doesn't go above the second to last one. I would not put it on the top one. Gotcha. Oh. Okay. Yeah, no, thank you for that. Um, um, are the desks in Morgan Hall still the longer desks? Do you know if yes. there are different desks in there? Okay. Yeah, they're the longer desks. Okay. That's what I was making that distinction. Yeah. Um, Isabel asked, are you allowed to use monkey hooks to hang things? I can't remember if the answer is yes, still. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me consult on that. It's gone. 
Generally, we don't want you to put things that are going to go inside the uh, inside the uh, the wall itself. But um, let me let me come back and check on that for yeah, you. Yeah, because I can't remember because I know we that conversation has come up the last couple of years. Michelle asks, um, is there a full length mirror in all of the bedroom closets? And uh, there is a full length mirror in the in the in these ones. Mm -hmm. And there should there should I believe there is a mirror in the in the north. In like the different style ones. Um, are the beds in the quads twin or twin XL? With twin XL being, I believe, an 80 inch length. And these are 75s or 80s? I believe these are 75, but I actually dropped the sheet behind me that I okay. think has the answer on that one. Uh, let's see here. These are. It looks like these are the 85s. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, it's 85 by 39 by 69. Okay. Do you want to just measure that one real quick? Yeah. We're measuring not the not the frame, but the actual mattress. No, no it's just well, just under eighty inches. Okay, so about eighty inches, which to us is the larger. Um, Becky asks, what height is the second to last notch on the bed? And again, this has another piece that can be put with it, so it can go double what you're seeing here. So that's a 32 inches, Becky. Okay. Did I see a work order maybe on the other bed over here? I thought I did too, and I was yeah. going to point that out. So um, whoever, we won't, we won't expose names. But yeah, we'll, student IDs or anything. Uh, so whoever put this in, um, Jesus, did I pull it off? No. So they just put it in saying mm -hmm. what they were doing. So We're not giving any personal information there? Nope. Okay, good. All right. Well, yeah. So those are the work orders that come through and our staff comes through and does all the lifting, heavy lifting there prior to that. Um, something to point out is we have uh, television here that includes HBO. It's digital yep. cable. Uh, you can watch on your laptop as well. So you don't have to bring a TV. Every room, uh, every room, including the common room has one, has a, has a cable box. Okay, well, we've reached the end of our questions, so now is a good time. Oh, we got another one. Emma asks, can you measure the dimensions of the shelves in the wardrobe? So. Okay. Uh, so, like 15 and 3 quarter and seven, 16 and... 16 something, Six, five, 16 and three quarters. Okay, and can you give us the depth as well? That, that was it. Okay, I'm sorry, okay. And height? Uh, uh, about 12. Okay, okay, great. Those are the shelves. And then Carrie, uh, Katie asked, can you show the inside of the closet? Sure. Well, we don't want to go to Narnia and get, in, get, get too much in the wardrobe here, but it's right, uh, right along. And so that's for one student. Yep. Okay, great. Great series of questions here. And I have a couple follow-ups that I'll do after this show. Um, Sarah asks, is the desk chair the same as that one in Morgan? And is the chair the same? I, believe, I think these are all those, uh, the um, removable ones. Okay. All right, the gaming chair thing. I think these are removable. They are. I can tell from the style. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, Katie was asking for the closet in the hallways. Sure, we can do that. Eric, you mind open it? Or Scott, you mind open it? Thank you. And there's no mirror in this particular closet. Okay, Ava asks, uh, do you think you could put a TV stand in the bedroom by the door so you can have your own TV in your own room. Uh, you can have your own TV in your room. A stand though. I mean, I think there's room for a yeah. stand. Or right here especially. Yeah. Yeah. You could definitely put a TV in here. For sure. Um, okay. Let the people who are better stationed. 
Let's see then, we've got, uh, we've caught up on our questions. Awesome. Uh, why don't we take a moment, any final questions that come in, we'll try to answer, but you want to tell us just a little bit about uh, what you're anticipating this fall? What am I, boy, I don't know what I'm anticipating. Well, uh, this, this community, what, what, yeah, what kind I, of characterizes this community? I would say that like, hopefully we have a really strong community of people who want to interact with each other, um, interact with each other in their suites. Uh, because it is a little bit different. We're not necessarily two roommates. It's, it's four roommates and you share a suite and hopefully that is something that can happen. You can create stronger bonds with the four people um, that you live with and everything like that. Yeah, excellent. We did have one more question. This will be our last one. And then if you want to leave ones below, we'll do our best um, to answer them. Karen asks, what is the, uh, the radius of the door in the bedroom when it's open? So we're kind of getting... How much space is that going to take up? So if you could give us the, the length of the door, that would be helpful. Yeah. So the door is like 30, 31 and a half inches. 31 and a half inches. So of course it's going to pivot uh, to close and everything like that. Yeah. So 31 and a half inches that you lose of door space uh, to cover that. Okay. And then um, space between the, we'll take one last one, space between the bed and the desk for the rug. So we'll just give a measurement between the bed and the desk. Now I make sure it's against the wall. So just under 47 inches. 47 inches in that direction, and then in this direction. Uh, so right there, from there, eh. So about the wall is like 98 inches. 98 inches right there. Okay. Excellent. Well, again, thanks for all these questions and we'll try to come back and get a, about two or three of those answered that we couldn't answer here live. And uh, hey, Eric, you want to wave us out and wish yeah. everybody a, a welcome this fall? Yeah, hopefully we'll see you all here in a few weeks. We're like, what, three weeks out now, two weeks out? Right around, right yeah. So hopefully we'll be glad to see you all come and show up and yeah, let's have, we'll have a good year.